Should I say dick eating in the caption on YouTube? Hey, the same thing again, DJ. YouTube, what's going on? Fans and all filler here. We got another bank of video for y'all. Today's question of the day is Flosh from Attack on Titan a certified shooter or is he a dick eater? Now, I personally don't think he's a dick eater, but saying dick eater is crazy. But anyway, that's what we're talking about. Most people seem to think that he just be meat rotten to the extreme, but I think he has legitimate reasons. And in, in fact, that he's not a meat writer. But in fact, Somebody's gonna slide. I like little dirt. But anyway, that's what we're talking about. He's not he, he's not just a regular dickie, though. He's a Hall of Fame dickie, bro. The switch Hall up of Fame from Dickie is crazy, bro. That's a wild phrase. Bro, bro, bro. The way the switch up from season one to season he's two. He's not Hall of Fame, bro. <laughs> Hall of Fame, bro. Hall of Fame, bro. The switch up, the switch up from season one to season two is unheard of, bro. That's some shit like you wasn't there season one and season two, did you? Okay, bro. Season four, season five, bro. Season three, season four. You get what I'm trying to say, bro. So you're you're basically just saying he's a nigga because he got character development, bro. Bro, 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 you was not you was not. <laughs> it was off camera character development, so like that don't mean shit to me. Oh god, I didn't I didn't see you develop nothing, bro. All I know is you came back and now you think you. Last time I seen you, bro, you survived something. First of all, the fact, the fact that he thought he was hot shit enough to put to put an input on who could the uh, the colossal titan was crazy to me, bro. Like, who are you, bro? Who are you, bro? But even after but that show, if he immediately developed that, that it's not showing that he came out the gate out of nowhere. But after what happened was the big fight, and he was like, no, yeah, I, I think Irvin should do it, bro. I went through all that, and what Irvin proved is that you have to sacrifice shit. Irvin showed that that's what you need to do to win this shit, and that's why I think Irvin deserves to be the, to be the colossal oh, fan. So that's already him walking in the step of what we get picked up on in the next season. Ain't, ain't he the same nigga that uh that like hit under his horse, bro? Right, if he nearly died and came back and said, "Dang, I got answer my question, now. answer my question, yes, yes or no?" Hey, man. And he, and he, and he, 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 not not everyone built like Irwin, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're you're saying you're saying that he immediately he talked about sacrifice after he after he hit under his horse, bro? Yeah. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I will this say that nigga got character development. I I expected to go into this. Uh, Call him, bro, a glizzy gobbler. But uh, after one of the is on, bro. I, well, no, no, no. I'm saying like I was thinking about it a little bit before the podcast. Fuck out, fuck out. Go on, you, bro. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like you had an abacus and you like flipped it upside down. Right. That is, this nigga said an abacus. First of all, go meet Mark Kelly real quick. Second of all, what the fuck's an abacus, nigga? You know this thing you put math on, uh, and it like has the, uh, it's like uh, you slide the little pieces over. It's like a little. It's hard, I think it's what like Japanese people use. Jabari, who's editing this video? Put a picture of an abacus up. <laughs> Got you. That's an abacus. Now put it and flip it upside down. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, whatever, so that's the sound it would make. <laughs> whatever what, 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 what gives Jabari instructions, bro, to make you laugh, bro. <laughs> Mid video, just. I don't know. Yeah. I was thinking about the video a little bit before we got started, and I was like, you know what? Bro died for the cause. Is that, like, I think that certifies it as a little bit more than just Dick Eaton. If he was Dick yeah. Eaton, I feel like he would have folded as soon as, like, he was like, shit, I'm about to die. He didn't have, no, have no option, bro. He literally no, he like he went out in a blaze of glory. Yeah. This was from day one to day two. It was crazy, bro. This was from day one to day two. If you had just been a dick eater, the moment Aaron would have left you to be like, oh shit, Aaron's not here. What the fuck should I do? No, because my thing is, my thing is, it felt like he, he, he seemed like he seemed like one of them niggas who like once he got power, he won't OD with it. Well, I don't. I'm not saying I fuck with him. I'm just saying. No, nah, but like, the only reason he had that power was because of Aaron. Cause you want he went from he, he went from remember first time we see blue you know he over here like that bro they, they really throwing rocks at niggas bro should be about to die let me hide out of my horse to hey shit I survived you know I'm a real nigga you know feel me? I, I survived this shit you know I ain't really do nothing but you know I survived this shit well he was yeah. early on in the corpse by the okay. time there's like a time skip 
I feel as though, Brady, you're making that argument. Like, literally, all of the fucking 104 courts from season one fall underneath that death description, bro. Because niggas like Gia didn't want to join the Sorbet Corps because they were like, I don't want to do this shit. And then they, then they got characters that was like, okay, we should do this for the bigger cause. Who said, wait, wait, who, who'd you say, bro? Gene. You, bro, you know, Gene, we don't, you, you know my thoughts. Gene, on you, bro. So, Connie, and mostly all the niggas, all the niggas beside me, Casa, was not trying to join the fucking Survey Corps. They all went through that shit. It was like, <sighs> I mean, I don't want to get eaten by tank, but I guess this is a more like a bigger picture. And then he joined the Survey Corps. You, you said Gene, you, you said Gene name, like Gene name messing with me, bro. You know my thoughts on Gene, bro. So I don't know what you I said. Every, I said, I'm a nigga that day, and you immediately only went for Gene, bro. If you ain't got no other credible sources, you could just say that, bro. Bro, bro. Well, Connie, Connie cool people, bro. But you know, after Connie, after Connie just tried to uh, all bro off with his mother, bro, uh, Connie lost a little bit of respect for me, bro. He he, he, he wasn't with the cause, bro. Uh, they so didn't I, even know, but, oh my God. <laughs> That's when you realize Connie went for the cause, not when he sided with the ops. <laughs> This nigga, oh my fucking god, bro. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. It, it depends on your situation because the ops, the ops, the ops, the ops, the ops is subjective. The ops is subjective. Yeah, this is a very like, is there really? I mean, it, I think there's parties I definitely disagree with, but I feel like uh, when I'm watching it, this, um, this nigga said, there are no fuck. subjective ops, bro. Yes, there there is, are no, Aaron is not the good guy in this. I actually, 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 actually. Hold on, we're getting off on a tangent. So that's a discussion for another conversation. Another no, conversation. We already had the conversation. Okay. We're, we're still yeah, on the tag on Titan, bro. It's, all, it's always oh. a gas conversation. Okay, but go, go ahead, Fiji. Go ahead, Fiji. Oh, I was just saying, uh, Aaron, I, I don't think Connie's uh, fighting with the ops, as you would say. <laughs> 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 He's just... Because... I, that's the group I think I rock with in terms of who's right and wrong. We had Fiji, we had this conversation the other day, Fiji. Yeah. You're not sliding, bro. You're not sliding, bro. No, yeah, I'm not. Damn, bro. Yeah, so you were supposed to admit it, bro. Pick the wrong side, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I picked the wrong side, yeah. If yeah, you well, pick uh, the people's side, you, that's a loser side, bro. I see, <laughs> I see everyone's uh, point of view. You know, point of view. I get it from every like all like three perspectives i guess mm-hmm. uh i just i don't know that's who i'm rocking with okay. <laughs> like, 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 like fiji says it's subjective bro so like i see aaron's point of view now i personally agree with aaron's point of view because based off especially basically especially based off what we read in the manga it, it there, there doesn't really seem to be an option there's an option but like there really doesn't seem to be an option so, um, Aaron, so you're literally just saying you see Aaron point of view and you agree with Aaron, but you just said the opposite objectives. But I, but I, but I said I understand their point of view too. I'm open minded. So even though I agree with Aaron, I understand where they're coming from. Even I even understand where Marley's coming from. These are people of Marley. So you gotta, Ooh, all you I'm about to say, you. there's no shit, no shot. Them niggas want imperialists to the fucking max, bro. Yeah, but, but you have to understand their brainwash. That's the whole point. The whole point yeah. is their brain. The whole point is their brainwash. I so, so Marley isn't meant to be like that. Marley, Marley isn't meant to be like off rip. But once you realize that what they've been told is a lie, then you're like, you, you, you're supposed to put two and two together and be like, yeah, they're the bad guys. But if your whole life you're told that ketchup is bad for you, eat ketchup. If you eat ketchup, you're going to die. You're, you're bad, the thought of ketchup is going to put a bad taste in your mouth. So their whole life they're told these niggas are devils. So they're taught to kill these niggas. That's what you're born to do. And yeah, what's, that's why uh, I rock with Gabby. Yeah, I, that's why I rock with Gabby. Face that Gabby go crazy. But um, it's the whole life she's told kill these niggas and we're like you're a slave. You're not a slave, but you're less than uh you're less than the Marlins. But if we if you kill these niggas, we'll make you an honorary Marlin and you can bring your family up. So their whole life they're taught to finish these niggas without knowing they, they dehumanize the audience. That's what I'm saying, pretty much. Said that five different ways, but they dehumanize the audience. Okay. I understand everybody's point of view. I also understand everybody's point of view, but I feel as though Attack of Titan does a great job making you realize that there's clearly no no way there's you're no doing right this about the people, right? Yeah, there's no right answer. You either do or you don't. Yeah. Cause even and I feel as though when it comes to that spectrum, I'm doing it. You know, it's, it's, you got to go numero uno. I got to make it out the mud, bro. I can't see for everybody else. That's but what I'm, I'm not going to sit there, Jason. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, because everyone is like, well, this isn't right. 
But and hopefully, I don't know if they said it in an anime yet. But with Whisper Girl, especially since me and Desire, we had this conversation since the uh, since the anime's been over. There really is no option, especially based off the situation that everybody's in. It's kind of like it's kind of it's kind of kill or be killed. And but um, my- back to the topic, I don't think Coach is a unique writer. Because he was for the cause, and ho- the whole thing of Aaron doing what he did was to protect Paradise, his people. And Flosh was let, left in charge. Basically, Flosh was left in charge. They was like, all right, Flosh, you know what to do. Make sure you hold shit down on the island. All right, cool. Now, he's thinking that G and them are going to be on his side because they want Aaron to win. So he's generally surprised when anybody, why the fuck are you siding with the people that kill our people for real? It's like, oh, but you know, it's a, it's how Aaron's doing it is wrong. He was like, but what they've been doing been wrong for all these years. We finally have a chance to fight back. Why would you choose to side with them? Yep. And I feel as though it's going if he's they're going about it the wrong way, but it's the only way to get it done. <laughs> Especially since they had no power. But now since they have the power, there's only really one real way to use it. Since they've seen what happens if they try to play the passing route. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't think he's a meat writer, especially since he proved himself to die for the cause. I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. Nah, nah, nah I'm thinking on it. Nah, nah, I'm thinking on it. Uh, I, see, I, see, I, see, I see what you're saying, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I, wish, yeah. I wish they would have... Uh... I wish they would have done better in a sense that they, um, in a sense that they, you know, showed a little bit of his character development, at least within a time skip or something. Because seeing him go from like, seeing him go from that to. You said go from zero to 100. Nigga, nigga went from zero to 100 real quick. Like, I don't know what happened in a time skip, bro, but he, 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 he bossed up a little too fast for me, bro. I think it's because he became one of the, like, one of the strongest cadets they had at the time. I ain't gonna say the strongest, but I think he had the most force, especially since surviving, um, surviving, surviving the shit. I think, wasn't he like, yeah, I think the survey course gets me, yeah, survey course gets these niggas like every fucking month or so. So, like, compared to like G and them, he's like, he, he's not like top of the food chain, but he's basically second in command to the new generation of niggas. They all look up to him, especially when niggas are dying. Yeah, so it's only a handful of niggas that actually live to survive to tell the stories about all the shit they went through, and Flosh is one of them. I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. I like, I like what we did here, like what we did here. Jabar, any last thoughts? Nope. I, lo- I, I, love, <laughs> I, 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 I love we. I love we hear Jabar. <laughs> Jabar's funny. Oh God, Jabar. It's kind of weird when we all reach a consensus, I feel like. So, like, whole time, the I... Next- so I came in here, I, I came in here thinking I'm like, oh yeah, Flosh is a dicky, right? And then I, <laughs> I, I I read the wiki, right? I read the wiki. So refresh my so refresh myself. <laughs> we, we gotta realize, you realize I, I, I haven't I haven't read I haven't touched a chat on Titan in since in a year, bro. In a year, bro. It's been a year, because this is one of our first videos. At least one of the main videos, bro. And uh no, no, no. I I agree. I, I read the manga and it was like pretty much after realize they're pretty much like after realizing the truth behind the wall. Flo's just like, fuck these niggas. These niggas ass so off of these niggas. And he agreed with Aaron. And you're right, he did. He, he, he died on some bullshit. Because he, 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 there's times that he could have left. Times he could have put sides, whatever. But he, 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 he bro. So he, he done did what he had to. Oh, double down. I had to play dead on the floor. Oh, God. So. <laughs> I think it's crazy that Flo's has more character development than Mikasa. That's actually crazy. You said, you said what? Flo's has more character development than Mikasa. Uh... All I'm gonna say is don't sleep with Mikasa. Don't sleep with Mikasa, bro. But I'm anyway, you know her. She's filthy. Bro, 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 all of them are all of them are filthy, bro. Them niggas but don't anyway. shower, bro. Them niggas are connected to filthy. Anyway, bro. Anyway, Every anyway. time we talk about Attack on Titan, we get into how they don't shower. It's not oh god, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. It's always Dijon that brings it up, man. Because he's the only bro, he's bro, he 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 I don't know, bro. He's the most upset about it. As he should be. Oh god, bro. But anyway, thank you. I'm about to say, uh, you not mad that niggas don't shower regularly. Well, I mean, me. not the fictional people. <laughs> that, I'll be mad with real, no, real life niggas don't do it too. Bro. I, I, I'm, 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 I get mad when real people don't shower. I'm getting PTSD different. of a nigga I used to work with, bro. Go ahead. Anyway, bro. Um, <laughs> like, comment and subscribe, y'all. Tell me, it's supposed to dig either, bro. Did the genre convince you? Like, the wiki convinced me. 
Nem szerintem, hogy kívülbeszél.